The back of the mouth is commonly called the pharynx. And if you look right down here behind the tongue, although I don't have a blunt probe, I should have one for this. Right here behind the tongue is another hole called the glottis. The glottis leads to, I'm spraying things all over the place. The glottis leads to the trachea, <clears throat> the trachea, and it's here in the neck, it's got little ridges. And that's how you tell the difference between the trachea and the esophagus. The esophagus is found on the opposite side. Here it is right here, this piece right here is the esophagus. The esophagus leads to the crop. <clears throat> this crop has, uh, I don't know, some seeds or something in it. And then a crop, there's a tube that comes out of the crop called the proventriculus. And the proventriculus, my fingers were smaller so it's easier. Okay. There we go. The proventriculus leads to, right here, it's proventriculus, glandular part of the, st of the uh, stomach. And then we have the gizzard, the muscular part of the stomach. And the gizzard leads to, where did he go? I saw him a second ago. Here it is. Come on, Travis. got three minutes left. The gizzard leads to, to the duodenum right here. And there's a pancreas, but I believe the pancreas isn't on the pink sheet. So that is the duodenum, the first part of the small intestine. Here we have further parts of the small intestine. And the large intestine takes a green color to it. So if you ever see anything in here that's green, like that right there, that's large intestine. And it leads down to the posterior edge of the, of the bird, the cloaca, the common exit for digestive, excretory, and reproductive systems. Let's see if we can expose. There's the, there's the rectum for the large intestine. And then we have two cecum on the side right there. Cecum. 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 Cecum for singular. Okay. And then laterally we have the, uh, the kidneys, now I've removed the membrane. The membrane that I removed was the peritoneum, peritoneum. specifically the parietal peritoneum. And the we, uh, obvious pieces that we've skipped, here's the heart, here's the liver, and, the lung. and then we'll go back and we'll find, here's the lung right here. Oh, it doesn't quite look right, but anyway, preservation, be what it is. And let's see if we can find this lung here. Oh, I wasn't ready for lung. I only got three minutes. Three, two, one. Two forty-five. Ow! Just impaled myself to hurry. All right, I don't see the lung on this side. I only got two forty-five. Let's go back out and find the muscles. So this is the sternum that's been removed. It used to be right there. And if we look, we can see the two layers of muscles. Excuse me, feathers. Two layers of muscles. Here we have the pector pectoral, and then here we have the supracoracoideus. And you can see just pulling them apart. Look at that. You can see both muscles very, very clearly. Hopefully, this will stay preserved all the way to the day of the practical. Looking at the outside of the bird, a couple things that I did leave off. Here we have uh, downy feathers, and here we have contour feathers. And uh, if we're looking for a phyllo plume, I'd have to find a, p a piece of skin, and I don't know where all the skin went. And if you look real small, you won't be able to see it on the video, so I'll just point to nothing. This tiny little hair right here, there's nothing there. This tiny little hair right here is the phyllo plume. <laughs> oh wait, there is actually one right there, I found one. Tiny little hair, it's called a phyllo plume, sensitive to air currents. Uh, this concludes the columbiform detection. Dissection. Good. All right. Thank I didn't you. find the lung real clearly. Anybody can post on YouTube. I can post it right now. There's the lung right there. Oh, well. that wasn't the lung. That was the egg gland. Right here is the lung. Oh no. Here's the lung right here. Wow, it looks like a piece of meat. It does look like it. That's why I thought it was muscle on, at first. And then Duke's back there saying, hurry up. And I'm like, no, I can't handle the pressure. Here's the I'm other lung. Hurry. Here's the other lung right here. Why need to hurry? Here's the other lung. Travis, can you show the, um, the muscle thing? Mm -hmm. The high pack? No, I'm talking about the fish. Supra something? There's the high muscle and the epaxial muscle. No. So, oh, not the fish. Here's, here's, the, here's, the <laughs> here's the pectoralis. Pectoralis. And then supracoracoideus is the inside one. See, how I didn't make the cut. It's a natural division between the two. Really? Mm -hmm. Can you go so with the esophagus and the pharynx again? No, pectoralis. Okay. Esophagus. So this is on the esophagus right here, right there. What's yeah. this here? Uh, trachea. It's, no, it's vertebral it's column. Pointing. There's the trachea. Oh, trachea oh. on the right. Yeah. And then the pharynx is just the back of the mouth. And larynx. And oh, the on larynx. the exam, would you more likely to point on the esophagus up here? Well, everybody's like crowded here. around. I had to think of something. So that's the larynx. <laughs> Duke. She's not used to people touching her when she's up there. <laughs>